Is it possible to beat Pokemon Red with only a missing note? Let's find out. Oh, hi, Mac. Pokemon Red, only missing note. Let's get right into it. I am going to be playing the game on four times speed, as you can probably already tell. Just not make this video super, super long, because I am going to be showing you the entire run in its entirety. I'm not going to leave anything out. I know, like, a lot of solo runs usually will show you, like, the highlights. But for this run, in case you didn't know, Missing No is my favorite Pokemon. I've always been obsessed with Missing No. I'm going to be talking about all the kind of unique Missing No stuff throughout this run. So I figured, you know what? I'd like to show you the entire thing. I haven't played on four times speed, and I think only I've only really done this like a couple times. Uh, it's definitely gonna be pretty tricky. I'm gonna be honest. So I entered in a Game Shark code in order to make Missing No my starter. You can't really use like the universe of Pokemon randomizer to do it. You kind of have to use Game Shark. And like most solo challenge runs, only Missing No in battle, no items in battle. I can catch other Pokemon to use for HMs. I uh, can't use them in battle though, and no glitches, which is kind of ironic because. It's a glitch Pokemon. A bit of an oxymoron. So I want the... Yep. Now I see the... Hmm. Okay. I, th oh, I forgot. There's something weird with Missing now where when you first go to catch him, he actually immediately transforms into a Rhydon, and you need to re-catch him. So technically now I have a Rhydon, but the sprites are still changed, as you can see, which is kind of fun. Um, I'm going to do Stomp. Wait, what the... I like how the, the weird text on there. Wait, is that Taco 940? Stop 940? Why 940? Okay. All right, so we won. Okay. Uh, so now we're going to have to catch a Missing No. Which, actually, Missing No, missing no has like a super low catch rate. So I might just... Uh, that's going to be interesting. All right, I'm just going to run away from all these Pokemon. It's weird that the sprites are still getting like kind of mixed up. Even though we have a Rhydon. We don't have a Missing No, at least not yet. So I'm going to have to catch one. It's going to be great. All right. So let's do all these kind of like weird errands in the beginning. By the way, what is Oak's parcel? They never really explain that. So I'm just kind of like vague item for Oak or something. Okay. Right. Okay. There we go. Now let's get the missing one and actually begin the run. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot. He just... Why does he talk so much uh, like crap to you? Like what... What made him this way? All right. So first things first. It's gonna be kind of interesting. Man, the four times speed is tricky. Um, what we're gonna do is first thing, and this is the only time I'm gonna do this, just for the nature of this run to make it easier. I am gonna disable the cheat. I'm gonna go here to. Uh, I prepare this just in case. This. It, I'll, I'm actually going to do this one first. This allows me to buy a Master Ball. I'm only doing this once, and the only reason why is just to quickly catch a Missing No, so it speeds up this run. So we go to the Pokemart, buy one Master Ball. All right, so I'm going to take... All right, so now we have a Master Ball, and then I'm going to take off that cheat. Let's take that one off. And then I'm going to put this one on once. This allows me to now catch a Missing No, because we have to do this. And also, I put on max DV, so basically, I'm going to be getting the best Missing No possible to truly see how powerful or not is Missing No. So let's catch the Missing No. So look, look at it in all of its glory. So beautiful. So majestic. I'm going to get that Master Ball. And there we go. I'm going to leave the name as Missing No. Wow, weighs 3,500 pounds. And it's 10 feet tall. Wait. Did it just turn into a ride on again? Okay, hold on a second. I'm gonna. Mm, that's a bit of a pickle. Um. Okay, let's. Okay, let's. Uh, let's buy. You know, I'm gonna buy a few more master balls, just in case this takes a little bit. Um, I wonder if maybe we have to like get another missing. No, this is kind of interesting. Fun start to the run, I will say. Okay, so that level two. You know, I'm sorry, I can't. No, no, I'm not dealing with the level two one. Come on. That actually looks like the original Missing No Sprite, though. He's going to be like a level 5 or something. Uh, there's a specific reason why I'm doing this. You'll see why in a second. Um, maybe if I go over to this like one area, maybe be a little bit better, to be honest. Um, trust me, there's a very, very specific reason why. No, I'm, I'm going to go for 5. It's, it it's going to make way more sense for me to wait for level five, and then for me to actually just get one and try to level up an extra level. Because the thing with missing now 
is there's different speeds Pokemon evolve at. There's like the slow rate, um, medium slow, medium fast, fast, stuff like that. Missing though, it just doesn't make any sense. And in the beginning of this game, it's gonna take forever, I just know, for it to evolve, or excuse me, to, to like level up. All right, another thing forever. Um, I wonder, actually, would it be faster in Viridian Force, maybe? You know, let's just, let's just do that. I mean, I guess we don't have to battle anybody, technically. Um, I guess we don't need to. All right, let's get that potion. When I was younger, I always thought you had to walk around the way in order to get that potion, but I feel like this, this is going to be level 5 Pokemon in here, right? Am I wrong? I don't know. Um, okay, so let's do this. And we got a Pokeball, sweet. You know, I'll just... Okay, I'll just do it. Should have just gone before. Nope. Okay, so I think... Okay, so we actually have the missing you know, now. So I'm going to do this. We're going to disable all these cheats. So now, like I said, I only really use those to obtain the missing you now. It doesn't really make the game any, like, easier, theoretically. Um, now what I want to do, just to make it truly legit, is... I'm going to go to the Pokemon Center. I'm going to deposit the Rhydons. So that way we don't have them. And there we go. Now we got the missing now. Let's save it up. Oh, I'm also going to toss these Master Balls. Um, just so I don't... No, no. Because I am going to have to catch other Pokemon. So I will be using the Pokeballs. All right. I don't even know how I want to start this. So I think... Okay, let me see. So here's the thing with missing now. Let's look at its stats. It... Is bird and normal? Bird's a glitch type. Its attack is ridiculous. Missing has the highest attack in the game. And this is its moves. But we need to level up, like, an absurd amount just to get to level 5. Like, it's ridiculous, honestly. So, I think our best bet... I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. Is to maybe just, like, fight Metapods. Or Kakunas, actually, is probably the best. Um, I'm going to put Skyjack here, actually. Okay, and then... See, so, Missing knows. Uh, special, in case you're curious, is, like, super bad. So, we're just gonna have to do that. Wow, 40? This is gonna take forever. Does level 6... Oh, man, I should... See, that's the thing. I should have actually just gotten a level 6, um, missing, you know, because that would have saved so much more time. I forgot, though, the, the highest level in, um, Rain and Forest. Okay. Wow, okay, we're getting... You know what, though? The game's helping us out. Getting pretty good RNG. Oh, nice. Okay, got that crit. Which is kind of rare, because missing, you know, isn't, like, the fastest... Pokemon. Um, come on. Come on, game. Give me a battle. <sighs> nah. I, I think we're going to have to, just in, for safety's sake, not face any of these Weedles. I forgot. Come on. Are you kidding me? I don't have to use a potion already. I might as well save it in case. Just give me some Kakunas. Yeah, the game hurt me. All right, sweet. Man, that hurts so much to know there was actually a level 6 just chilling there the whole time. The good thing is we do have, like, two... It's weird. It's Sky Attack, Water Gun, and Water Gun. Um, in addition, let me know what you think in the comments. What do you think the lowest level is that we can beat Brock at? I know you're thinking, like, oh, well, you have Water Gun. That should be easy, right? Not necessarily, to be honest. So, I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to go back... I gotta be careful not to run into any trainers because I would get demolished in any battle right now. Okay. Okay. No. Actually, uh, Cavi's not gonna. Can't do anything. So I'm gonna heal up. I'm gonna try to face the guy with the Weedle and just maybe do it a bunch of times and just hope to win. Um, because while Pokemon or trainer battles usually don't have like good AI, so he's just gonna use random moves. So if we just get really lucky with like a bunch of string shots. I think we could take him with two Sky Attacks. And then that way, at least, uh, we're able to get closer to Brock's gym. Ooh, okay. I definitely want to do this one, actually. Actually, I should just be using Water Gun because he's not going to attack me ever. So, might as well save the Power Points for Sky Attack in this case. All right. Um, all right. Wish me luck. Let's do this. All right. Um, oh, it's level 9. Okay, so, I actually think... Okay, I think that's winnable. I honestly think that's winnable. If, if he just uses String Shot a bunch of times, I think we can do it, to be honest. Nice! Okay, there we go. 
All right, just use the antidote just in case. Help him out. Okay. Now we can get to Peter City because I think what I might do, honestly, which is kind of bold, is I'm just going to face the trainer and Brock Shim over and over until we just keep leveling up. That might actually be the fastest way and we just purposely lose. So I'm going to get, say, like five Pokeballs because we need to buy maybe five escape ropes. Oh, I can't buy them. Okay. So three. Um, maybe buy an antidote. Actually, you know, I'm going to buy two. I, I have a feeling. Never a bad idea. Paralyze here. Maybe I like. Buy like two of these. Okay. There we go. So, let's see how we do in Broxham against the Light Years Trainer. I love how, like, he has that name just because of what he says. Oh, wow. We're going to get destroyed. Hmm. You know, it's close. <laughs> okay. I forgot. Diglett also has super good speed. So, as is looking, I think our best bet's actually to just do it in the forest. I don't really think there's any other like, way to do this until, man, because we can't even face the dig, I wonder, actually, well, what's my speed at, I don't know what Brock's Geodude speed, what, six, Geodude's, you know what, let's maybe train here for a, a little bit, maybe get to, like, a certain level, maybe, like, see, this is what's super annoying, because my speed's so bad, come on, give me, like, a Kakuna, that's what I need, you know what I need, game, I feel like this, though, I will say, I know maybe not the most exciting run thus far. The beginning of this run is going to be the hardest. Once we get Mega Punch, which is in Mount Moon, Missing though is going to be a beast. Oh, I think that's a pretty rare actually here. I'll just use this, say Power Points actually. Got some coffee to fuel me up. And you know what? I probably should just use Sky Attack actually. Um, and just speed things up a lot. Wow, I'm not even at level 5 yet. Jeez. <laughs> just all right i'm just gonna just speed it up a lot this is such a weird thing like sky attack water gun and water gun again bold bold move there it is okay so but here's a problem with missing though in the beginning you can see it, it takes an insane or she i don't know the, the, the glitchy boy takes an insane amount of exp just to level up and what's interesting i remember seeing some videos of other people who have done this it seems like that as the game progresses, he needs to weigh less. So it's like interesting the way that works. So let's try, let's just see how it go with Geodude. I'm just kind of curious because Geodude is double weak to, um, okay. So he's still, hmm. Okay. You know what? Let's, let's try that. I'm, I'm going to do this again. Uh, I'm going to see if Geodude just uses defense curl on the first, uh, thing. And then, because we can get two defense curls, I think we can beat Geodude, and that might be faster for EXP. All right, I'm going to switch this. So we would need... Wow, that's doing nothing. Like, four defense curls in a row. I mean, it's possible, but... So we're way off. And then, I think the Diglett's actually harder than the Geodude. I think, just wild Metapods. I can't think of any other, like, easier way to do this. Um... Quite the event so far. Quite the adventure. All right. I'm just going to... Okay, you know. So if we do... Okay, so we need like, what, 480? So if we get six of those... Or should we eight of those, I think we need to do? I like how this... By the way, kind of cool with Missing No. Is this the only Pokemon that does this? Let me know. Besides a like glitch Pokemon. The fact that Missing No Sprite or Back Sprite always changes. I actually think it's kind of cool. It's kind of creative to be like, what is the game going to come up with this one random time, you know? Nice. Oh, I should have waited. Oh, man. See, now you see why I was so adamant to be like, okay, maybe we should just wait for like, you know. Um... Oh, I'm still slower than them. Dang it. Okay. At least now, like, I mean, just going to have to do this game. But the problem is then, do I want to... I'm almost one hitting now, those. Okay, that's kind of cool to see. But then it's like, do I want to just go back and heal up just to get more sky attacks? Or is it going to be faster for me to just keep battling Kakunas and whatever and using a uh, water gun? I think it actually would be... F I don't know. Okay, dude. Just let me go. RNG is not rng right now.
No, we didn't get destroyed. Thought about it for a second. I'm like, eh, you know. Nice. Okay, there we go. Oh, was the last sky attack one? Okay, great. Okay. How are we looking? All right, so we're like halfway there. Um, You know, I actually think it is going to be faster, even though it's super tedious. Oh, no. Just to go back to the Pokemon Center. Also, I feel like I'm going to judge Misty Nose performance on level and maybe real time because I am talking and doing this at the same time. I've already been an hour of in-game time, so like I'm also kind of pausing, talking, having some fun with this video. So I think I might go more in terms of like how it rate his performance by the uh, real time of this video, maybe more than the uh, in-game time. Even though I think for me, if I'm playing this normally, I think I would probably judge it on in-game time, to be honest. Uh, at least to me, you know, I know some people debate that. I think like J Rose 11 does it more by in-game time. And then Scott Stott tends to focus more on real time in terms of like, wow, a lot of wheels here. Let me see if I just do that to mix up the RNG, I don't know. I could also try facing a trainer. Now I'm thinking about it. <sighs> How many trainers are there? I think there's two, right? In Pokemon Red. I think in Pokemon Yellow, there's two extra ones. Um, you know all this. I'm gonna let's get to level six, and then maybe go and face the trainers. Um, oh, man, come on, Just give me the Kakunas. You know what I want? Yeah, yeah. I do that. Not do that much damage. Wow. All right. I think we need like two more. I think. All right. Sweet. All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. <gasps> Wait. Is that a Gen One? Um. One and two fifty six. Miss. I don't know. Actually, I, can, I actually don't know what the active sky attack is. To be honest. Nice. <gasps> Perfect timing. Okay. So. Level up now. I think let's go face some trainers, see how this goes. Like I said, if we just get really good luck, that's good. But I think the biggest thing is if we outspeed him, at least we only lose one turn. That's the problem with Sky Attack is if it was like Hyper Beam or something where I would always attack first, I feel like that'd be so much better. Um, let's see. Where are the trainers? I can't remember. It also depends what they have. Okay. I don't... I don't know what he has. I might try to face this guy. What does he have? He has two. Okay, so as long as we just get good RNG, we might be able to do this. Okay, so that's actually perfect scenario. There we go. Okay. Was it, wait, did they only give me 67 experience points? It would actually be better just to face two Kakunas. I mean, might as well take it, I guess. Now, what does this guy have? Um, so we had two... Three now, okay. Well, and these are good, okay. Nice, okay. We actually really need that. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna do this. I mean, I feel like I would have enough, but just in case, you never know if it misses or something. I think I'd actually lose if I missed a sky attack. Um, there we go. All right. Okay, so missing no one is first two battles. There we go. I do remember, which is crazy. Still playing this game when I'm younger. And you're, like, walking around, and then all of a sudden you get into a trainer battle, and you're like, wait, like, you can face people? Like, I don't know why, but I was, I remember, like, a huge moment, because then you're like, oh, shoot, like, you can, like, hey, you know, I'll just take the scenic route right now. And then he Kakunas. And I just knock him out. I just think having to save so much, though, because I'm just worried that Miss, so missing no case of cures in case of the stats... It is, which is kind of funny, the highest attack stat in the game. The highest one besides Missing No is Dragonite with 134. Missing No has a 136 attack stat. Its defense is literally zero. Like, literally zero. <laughs> um, see if I can get to level 7 while we're here. And in true Scott Stott's fashion as well, he's the one who, I never knew this. I guess you don't level up linearly when it comes to your stats being increased. It, you get a big boost in your stats when your level ends in the number 0, 3, 5, or 8. So technically, what would make the most sense is for me... Oh, there we go, level 7. It's for me to actually level up to level 8 and then go back and see if we can face the Geodude. I don't know. Though. I'm, I'm going to try him again. Because once we get to the point where I can beat the Geodude with, like, decent consistency, that actually might be the fastest way to do this. Even if, We're definitely going to lose against the Onyx. At least, I think. Um... 
Okay, so let's see how we do now. Oh, okay, so we were close. You know, maybe one more level, I'm thinking. I don't know, though. Part of me says, would it should be faster trying to get... So we would need, like... Oh, I was almost a three hit. So if we get a crit or something, we could definitely beat Geodude for sure, then. With the luck we have now. Um... Uh, you know what? Yeah, it's not worth it. it it's... The luck required. I mean, it's a 50-50 uh, shot. We're basically... You know, let's see what happens, you know? Let's see what happens. I'm kind of curious. I think we're still going to lose, but I'm curious. Oh, you know why? Because it's four times damage against Geodude. Okay. All right. Slowly getting there, kind of. I feel... It's kind of unfortunate, though, because I feel like what's crazy about so many Pokemon... I feel like everyone knows this, though, is, like... So many Pokemon, I think, would do so much better in solo runs if they just didn't have to face Brock. Granted, Missing No, I think, actually, Brock's probably a... A blessing for missing, though, given the fact that, I mean, I only have Sky Attack, Sky Attack, and Water Gun. Uh, all right. So the good thing is we're now one-hitting some of the Kakunas, which is nice. There we go. Honestly, like, what do you think the game would be like if they didn't have Kakunas and Metapods in Viridian Forest? For a ton of Pokemon, it'd be, I feel like, almost, like, impossible to do this. Well, not impossible, but it would just take significantly longer. Like, if you're trying to do, like, an Abra run or something, I mean, it would take forever. Okay, getting pretty... Getting pretty good luck here. I feel like now we're starting to, like, pick up some steam. I'm curious to see, though, what would it be like um, with Water Gun still? Like, is it still worth it for me to just kind of... Um... That's actually doing decent. I mean, it's still kind of annoying... But I feel like actually maybe we're at the point now we're doing enough damage where I might as well just use the water guns, you know? I'm just going to do this to make it faster. Oh, well, this one actually has decent... Because Missing No Special, I can't remember what it is. I think it's like 20 or 23 or something like that. So it's special so low that that's why water gun just does such little damage. Even against like someone like Geodude. But I think maybe get up to level 8. See if we can at least beat the Geodude. Because we do have Water Gun, right? But, like, our special is just so bad. And we have the worst defense. Like, literally, by far, the worst defense in the entire game. Like, our defense, like I said, is literally zero. So, yeah. All right, come on. Give me something good. Give me something good. Ah, come on. I would... I think at some point, I might be able to face some of those, like, Weedles or, like, whoever pops up. But I just got to... I think I just got to take it easy for right now, just to be safe. All right, there we go. Okay, double Metapod. I think Metapods are pretty rare, actually, in Pokemon Red. I think more Akakunas, as you probably noticed. Come on. We are at the point that we're one-hitting Pokemon. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to go for it. See what happens. All right, no. Can already tell. Just in case, because Poison Sting, if I get Poison, be a whole thing. And it seems like we're now faster than most of these Pokemon, too. So that's actually a huge, like, makes things a lot easier. Alright. There we go. Take that. And we're going to switch to now our another... Let me replace Water Gun with another Water Gun. And what's funny is, there's actually a TM for Water Gun in Mount Moon. And Missing No cannot learn it. <laughs> Which like is like such like the most missing no thing ever. I don't know why. I think that's so funny or so ironic, you know. Alright. Okay, alright, there we go, there we go. I think at level eight, I'm hoping. Like if we can three hit the Geodude, I feel like that actually the, the RNG would be in our favor to at least just try Geodude again, you know? Um we were, we were close last time to a three hit. I think at a three hit. That means I can only get one tackle, and I need two defense curls. I think that's not bad. It's not the worst, like, luck I'm trying to go for, I feel like. And the time... I don't know how much experience Geodude gives, but it's a lot. So I feel like that's actually the most beneficial way. And then when I lose, I just repeat it, you know? All right. Okay. There we go. All right, there we go. There we go. 
Oh my god. Oh, wait, how, how close are we? Okay, 50. So, like, one more Kakuna, basically. There we go. That's exactly what I needed. One more, specifically, level 6 Kakuna. <gasps> wait a minute. Are we gonna have enough water guns? Are we gonna have to use Struggle? Okay, no, I think we're good. Actually, sh Struggle would do an insane amount of damage, actually. Okay, sick. Okay. Now we're level 8. Man. You think the slow growth rate is bad. Try, like, the Missy No beginning of the game growth rate. All right, so I'm going to try... Let's try him. If, especially if we can outspeed. I mean, what is our speed now? I think it's still pretty bad. Um, Speed is 10. All right. I don't know what is... Let's see. Okay. I feel like... I don't know. I have a feeling we might be able to do it. Let's see. Okay, so we don't outspeed him yet. That looks like a solid three hit to me. Definitely three hit. Okay, so yeah, we can definitely do this. We can definitely do this. All right, that's good. If we only outspend him, that actually alone... Okay, there we go. Perfect start. Literally like... Perfect start. There we go. Okay, so 220. So we're we'll definitely going to start doing this from now on. Oh, wow. Wait, are we about to be... Oh my God, we beat Brock. <laughs> I was going to say first try. I mean, obviously not first try, but... Wow. Okay. And my attack stat gets increased. Wait, can he learn Bide? Can he? No, okay. Wow, I'm... I genuinely... You know what? I'm kind of mad. I feel like I should have, like... I'm going to be honest. I feel like I should have purposely... Now, nah, I'm, I'm going to keep it, but I think, if anything, I should have purposely, like, thrown the battle. Like, just done Sky Tax on Onyx until he took me out. That way, I could just keep repeating. Because um, now, I mean, like, these trainers are not going to be easy at all for missing now. This is going to be... Okay, so I think for... Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. I mean, these are all going to be one hits with Sky Attack. Oh, man. You know what? I'm just going to take the... Whatever. Oh, yeah. Wait. Didn't we, like, just get money? And whatever. I don't really think I need anything. Um, should buy a potion. I don't, I don't know. Okay. Um, if I lose in, in something like that, I might as well just take the experience because... Yeah. I should have thrown the battle, though. I now realize that was a mistake. Uh, Sky Duck. Really? Wow, we've not been... <laughs> Man, we had a harder time, I feel like, with this guy than Brock. You know, though, I look at this free experience. I'd much rather just do this. How does a Caterpie get a crit? Are you joking? All right. You know, I actually did not expect to win that battle. I thought that was going to be it. Um, I'll just use a potion... Oh, he has the Rattata. This battle might take forever. I'm... Okay, let me, let me think how I'm going to do this. Let me try... <laughs> I'm like, maybe Water Gun will do some damage. Okay. Okay. That didn't go... You know, that went... Okay, you know, let's try... We may be in a bit of a pickle. That Because the... I'm not worried about the, the Rattata either. I'm worried about the Ekans. Okay, nice. Okay. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take it. We're just going to have to do this. We're going to... This reminds me of that scene or the, the, in uh, South Park when they just battle all those... I can't remember. What were they? When he's doing the, the World of Warcraft episode. Where I'm like, I'm just going to battle all these things, all these Pokemon, and just get as much experience. <gasps> oh, okay. Well, I actually did not... Dude, we got Sand Attack like a million times. How'd that even work out in our favor? May the odds ever be in your favor. Okay, so see how this goes. So water gun is definitely out of the question. Hmm. All right. The good. The, thank God there's no like friendship in Gen One, where it's like missing those lost a million times. Um. At least we're level ten. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, missing. Are you joking? I mean, normally I'd just be like, let me reset it. But at this point, I think it's actually faster for me to just, you know. Can't even beat a single Rattata. Okay. 
See, this is what I was worried about is rap. Like, this is going to be surprisingly, I think, a un, like, unexpected bottleneck of this run. And also, too, Rattata can take us out with tons of quick attacks because that gets priority as well, even if we outspeed it. And our defense is so bad. Oh my god, Missy, no. Are you joking, dude? <sighs> Man. If I could only somehow face, like, any other trainer but him, it would be so amazing. At least I can, like, somewhat... <gasps> Oh, okay, that's definitely a huge save. Oh, man, okay, wow. Um, I think he has... Oh, he has four, though. Oh, that's gonna be... Actually, we're not gonna win this. There's no way. What is the accuracy of Sky... I, I think this guy... Oh, can I do speed? Yes. All right, we're gonna lose. You know what, though? That's actually... Okay, so this is good. Thank God we beat that guy. Because I, I was worried about the, the Ekans and Rap. And all, that could have taken way longer. At least in this case, what I can just do is just... How, I feel like I get poisoned a good amount. Um, is just keep facing this guy. Because it's pretty much free experience, especially with the Kakuna. So at this point, like, even if I lose, if anything, that's kind of... I don't say good, but like... Oh, are we going to win? All right, there we go. We're picking up some steam. I like this. I like this. Actually, no, I'm just going to go back and then let's heal. Mr. Nose probably like, what is this? Like, does this guy even know how to be a Pokemon master? Because this guy's like blowing the whole thing. All right. Okay. All right, come on, come on. All right, so I think we're, now we can get Mega Punch, which is going to be huge. Okay, I'm going to, I am going to save it here. I'm going to try to catch a Sparrow, because what I can do is, is um, what was going to say, trade the Sparrow for a Farfetch, which can learn Cut and Fly, which is really convenient. How many Pokeballs do I have? I'm just gonna... There we go, okay. I'll just go Cut. Although, Missy No can learn Fly. I actually... Uh, let's see. I might actually... If, if we can find a Paris here, that would actually be very convenient. So maybe I'll just do that. Oh, wait, I forgot. There's no Repels in Gen... Uh... Um, I'm trying to think if I actually want to go and... Oh, no. This is actually an issue. That they outspeed. Alright, level 9 does not outspeed. Level 7 does not outspeed. There's a rare candy. You know what? I actually... Going to be interesting. I actually don't think the rare candy is going to be... Level 9 does outspeed still. Wow, this is bad. No, I'm not going to... I want to get Mega Punch first. Let me just get this. Come on. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. Dude, can you go away? No. Literally, I think the most annoying... Let's go! Alright, this is game changer. Is it just me? I don't know what the... So the, Here's what's kind of cool about Mega Punch. One, missing those um, attack is like stupidly high. Like I said, the highest attack in the game. And with Mega Punch, it gets stab. Which is even more ridiculous. Can you just... Go away. Um, nope. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, because it gets stabbed, it's basically like a 120 base power move. And we get missing those crazy attack stats. So, like, this is going to be... This is, like, huge, honestly. I think the run's going to get a lot more, like, efficient from here. Um, I'm hoping I don't have to, like, go back to Pokemon Center at all. Oh, I was hoping to be able to do that one. Dude, can you just... Okay. Uh, I am going to use a potion just to be safe. So what's funny, too, with Missy No, I don't think I would ever say this. Missy No's technically, its best attack is actually going to be Sky... Uh, not Sky Attack. Um, Try Attack. Which is funny, because I don't think I've ever been like, oh, Try Attack. Because you don't have any... In Gen 1, there's no secondary effect. It's not like the other games. <sighs> Dude, we're going to be one-shotting like most things, to be honest. Which is kind of awesome. After that crazy, like, leveling up thing we've had to do. Really? Really? Um, I, you know, I'm going to use a potion. It doesn't hurt. I feel like this is the last time I'm really going to have to, like, worry about stuff like this. But just to be safe. Oh, we... Hmm. 
We did not one-shot that. Okay, stand corrected. We one-shot the Voltorb. Coughing, probably not. Ooh, okay. So this one might be tricky. Voltorb, we're definitely going to one-shot. Um... Oh, thank God it wasn't. I forgot to Mega Punch, which is super annoying. Mega Punch is like, I think it's like 75% accurate or something. I don't know why when, I, when a move is 75% accurate, it always feels... Oh, it's a speed tie. It always feels like it's like 10% accurate to me. Uh, all right, so this one may be a little bit tricky. We may need some decently good luck. We got bad luck on the Grimer with the accuracy and everything. Okay, so there we go. So, okay. Oh, my God. Wow, so this actually may be... I mean, this fight, I think, is doable. Okay, so that's the best-case scenario with Grimer. No damage. That's not... The, the Screech... I, I've, I, I think I would rather almost attack at that point. Oh, my... Miss, you know, are you effing kidding me? <laughs> that was... This may not be feasible now I'm thinking about it. Wow, did, out of all Roblox? Okay, that's... Best case scenario, okay. Best case scenario for sure. Yes! Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, definitely gonna give him potion. Alright. I'm glad enough to, like, go and face other people. I'll just get the Dome Fossil. For my dried bread references. Um... Should I get a Paris use dig? It does make things easier. Eh, whatever. You know, I'm on four times speed anyway. It's gonna be you know, fine. Actually, can Missy no learn dig? It'd be funny seeing like a glitchy boy just trying to like dig or whatever. Um, alright. I'm trying to think of which route is gonna be fastest. Misty or but I can get bubble beam. I think Missy No does learn bubble beam. You know, let's face some of these trainers. Cause I feel like I kind of want the experience. Um Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. You know what? So I'm gonna do this. In this case, so like I said, I can I cannot use any other Pokemon in battle. Um, but in that case, it's more just to black out. I can't actually fight with them. So I'm gonna do this in the sake of this run, and also actually we'll speed it up. I'm going to deposit cut. That way, at least I can still do this kind of like a leveling up thing and not save time. I'm just gonna do this and do can we beat this guy? Because I actually think I'm kind of worried about the second rival fight, honestly. I think we're gonna be fine, but like you never know. Okay. And also, like I said, I can get bubble beam that might I think Missino learns it. It's kind of weird. So Missino does have actually like a designated TM learn set. Just so funny. Um uh... Oh, okay. Did not expect to win that, I'm going to be honest. Um, I am just going to do this. All right. And then we got to face the, this Goldeen. The good thing, though, is because we're bird... So, in case you're curious, the bird type has no strengths or weaknesses, no stab, nothing. Think of it like almost like... It's basically typeless, right? The normal type... Ah, uh, can we win this? <sighs> okay, so we can win that. Um... Yeah, I'm, wait, did I save it there? I actually can't remember if I did. Okay. So we can definitely win that. If we just get like a tail up in a pack or something like that, that's going to be fine. If we just don't get a miss. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> we can definitely do this. I don't know how, how Misty is feasible, though. All right, there we go. Okay. Um... So at least slowly leveling up, but like level 14, all right. You know, I'm going to do this. Because like I said, I don't think we're going to need the rare candies later on. Um, I'm actually just going to give this to him now. Now that we just leveled up. Okay. And let's, let's face Starmie and Star you. I think we'll be good. I don't know. Okay. You ready? Let's do it. Because we can use Bubble Beam later on. Okay. So with the X defense, it's going to be a two hit. That's what we need. Oh, I thought actually we might be able to do that. This one's going to be definitely very iffy, let's be honest. Um, 
If I can get maybe... I don't know, actually. I like what misuse it right away. It's like, oh, it's a missing no. We know it's going to hit super hard. Uh, if we can get maybe... See, I don't... This would actually might not be possible now I'm thinking about it. Because even with that crit, it's going to be a two hit on the Starmie at least. This might not be possible. Unless I just keep going for the experience. You know what? I'm just going to do that until we beat... Because at this point now, like I said, the biggest thing is just the time. And I think the Pidgeotto with Rival 2 using Sand Attack is going to be super annoying. Um, and we can pretty much, when it seems like, almost always beat the Staryu. So, I know it's probably the most, like, ridiculous strategy. Maybe after a few tries, like, if this is just not working, like, where, like, I'm like, all right, like, it's getting kind of annoying, just, like, losing over and over again. Maybe then I'll, uh, you know, like, face Rival 2, like, see how this goes. I'm curious to see. Because then we can just go up here. All right, um, should we do Pidgeotto? Ah, see, that's what I'm worried about. Cause Sand Attack's already, or Mega Punch is already inaccurate. Oh, I forgot he talks crap. You know, let's try him again. If we get decent luck, if like, if we don't get a Sand Attack, we might be able to beat him. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's best case scenario. Not good, but okay, we only got one. He also goes in Pokemon order. Wow, how many times did I just miss? Okay. <sighs> Dang, I thought I almost had him. So I actually think, yeah, let's just keep doing Rival 2. I think that's probably makes the most sense. Um, that's also why I gave him Squirtle. I think Squirtle has the best defense, and I'm mainly going to be using Attack. There we go. Okay, I'll take... There we go. All right. Moving up in the world. Okay. Okay. You know what, though? I'm, I'm, taking, I'm, I'm taking the... I know I'm taking a lot of L's, but those L's are turned to W's eventually, you know? This was like using a missing now. All right, come on. Oh, so that was actually without the crit. Okay. That just shows how good missing those attacks that is. Um, maybe when it gets to level 18, I think we'll have like a little bit better stuff. What's crazy too, missing no actually learns sword dance, which is bananas. Oh man, it's a range. Hmm. All right, let's try to star you again. <laughs> All right, see what see what you got. We are a level higher, you know. Okay, so now one hitting the star you. Uh, you got a crit, okay? But I actually think with level eighteen, we might be able to one hit the star you. Um, like rather consistently. I don't know if that was a range or not. Even with the X defend, see that just shows missing those crazily like good attack. Ah, uh, see, I just want. I just want to see you know, what we're getting now in the Starmie. I've not really been able to like attack the Starmie yet. I feel like this is like very doable, to be honest. We get the right like luck and RNG. Man, the, the misses are just so annoying. Okay. Dude. Come on, Missy now. Pull it together. Okay. SpongeBob, bus is here. Come on. Is it because Missy No, as you, as you can tell, Missy No is like oddly frustrating, but like it's such like a. Are you joking? It's like oddly frustrating in a way I can't describe. It's just so like unpredictable and all over the place. Where like when it hits, it hits like a truck. <laughs> um, but when it doesn't hit, it gets demolished. Especially, well, it's weird. I think its defense stats gotten a little better. It seems like I don't know. Okay, there we go. I'll take... I've literally not been able to get a hit on the Starmie since, like, in a million years. Alright, come on. One of these days, we're just gonna do it. Take that. Alright, let's try... <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna go back and forth between Rival 2. This, I feel like, when it comes to Pokemon, is one of the trickiest parts, because it's not really any easy way to level up. You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of, you know, at least we can pretty consistently get past the Pidgeot and the Abra. Okay. I forgot, is he the only ro only trainer that talks crap to you after you lose? I think he is, right? Like, I don't think any other, even like Elite Four gym member um, does something like that. Okay. 
Yeah, you know, I actually think Rival 2 is going to be the best raid. Because at least if we beat Pidgeotto, we also get experience on the Abra. Rattata seems to do random stuff. Man, okay. You know, though, we're getting those levels in. All right, come on. Level 20. Okay, so we're, I feel like we're starting to level up fairly, like, fairly normally now. Compared to, like, other Pokemon around the same, like, level. Nice. There we go. Okay. All right. I just cannot wait to get, like, a move that's not as unreliable as Mega Punch. But the good thing is now we're heading to finally another bridge. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Mr. Nudge, bring us home. He's going to be plowing through all these trainers. Not messing around. Also, I believe Missy No Legend Seismic Toss. I don't know if I want to get it. Um, I'm trying to think. I actually don't think so because one issue Missy No is going to have is hitting Ghost. I was thinking about that, but oh, no way. You know, I'm going to take it. At this point now, like, I know money. I don't think money's going to be a huge issue, but. But yeah, but the good thing is since Missy No learns Fly, I'll probably just have Missy No learn that. And then that. That's the way. Dude. Pull it together. All right. <laughs> okay. I feel like we're picking up steam now. I, I, I feel like. It just, I, I just hate the accuracy of uh, Mega Punch. Once we get Tri Attack, smooth sailing. I, I'm going to call it now. Well, maybe not completely smooth, but like fairly smooth. I, like I was thinking about Missy No's final learn set. I'm thinking Sword Dance, Tri Attack, Earthquake, Fly. I feel like that's a, like very solid, especially for um, Swords Dance when it comes to the oh wow okay, especially when it comes to the uh, badge boost glitch with uh, Swords Dance. Because I mean, let's be honest, when it comes to wait, I just lost that. I don't think I've ever seen the wait. I I don't think I've ever seen that. So I just lost that battle like for sure. Whoa, that's a very weird... Oh, man. Someone to avoid him. Um, I wonder which one... Is for water gun? Okay, yeah. Dang it, I want to get that elixir now. Let me see if I can do this. Does he reset? Yeah, okay, sick. Oh, okay. What do you have? But yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that. That's a such a bizarre glitch to me. Okay. Do we have any potions, actually? Because I'm kind of, you know. All right, what do you got? Ninorans, fine. All right. I, I'm, I'm, feeling the, I'm feeling the groove now. Feeling the groove. <gasps> no, I did not mean to do that. All right. Ooh, look at him go. That's what's up. That's what's up. Let's face this. Quick last. Let's go. Missy, no, bring, a, bring us some. Almost there. Almost there. Ooh. Huh? 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 Oh. Oh. Yeah, you should be. Got him missing now. Boom. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting better at the four times speed. It is pretty tricky. I also want to show you, you can get the bicycle at this point. I mean. All right. Um, okay. So now, I think it makes sense for us to beat Misty now for his time's sake. Um, once and for all. I think we can do it, honestly. I think we were getting, like, not horrible luck, but kind of odd luck. I think at this point, like, even if, even if they could get an Exifend gets used on the Star U. Oh, my God. Joking, missing now. Still doing half. That's pretty good. Um, Yeah, let's just... Whatever, I'm just gonna... I think I'm gonna put in a new thing. I think after this point, just because it is kind of feel like... I don't know. I feel like it's not cheap. But I don't really like doing this whole resetting thing over and over. I'm going to put a new policy now. 
after I beat Misty, I'm not allowed to, to reset just to get experience. I'm going to put that, like, rule in for myself. <gasps> Are you... Two... F oh, my God. I'm... This is insane. I'm sorry. Like, this luck when it comes to missing now, when it comes to, like, the accuracy of Mega Punch is honestly astounding to me. Like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I hate low... It's not even, like, a low accuracy move either. That's the weird thing. It's not like it's, like, oh, like, 50% accurate, and I'm like, okay, I get it. It's going to be way faster to beat her here. I feel like I'm hoping this is the last, like, hard battle or whatever. I honestly don't know. It's not really hard. I just, like, have not gotten, like... Like, I've just... I feel like just not gotten the best luck. Also, too, I'm, let me know anything in the comments, by the way. I wonder why a lot of Pokemon Solar Runners don't show their face. That's one thing I've noticed. I wonder why. Like, I feel like when I watch, like, someone playing a... <gasps> there we go. When I watch someone playing a video game, like, I kind of like seeing them, like, in their reaction and everything. Maybe it's because they're doing the voiceover where it's, like, it would look kind of weird with all the jump cuts. I think we can learn this, right? If I delete a Mega Punch, I would honestly cry. If I actually mess that up. Okay. So, let's heal. I can't remember if he learns... No, I don't think Missino can learn Dig, but I think it can learn... It, it can definitely learn Earthquake. That's for sure. Um, all right, so now I'm going to save it here. Because, like I said, from now on, I'm not allowing Missino to do, like, the consistently lose. I at least want to, like... That's what do when Missino hits. I'm telling you. I've never been more excited to get Tri Attack. I think I never really even used Tri Attack. I remember, like, I think Porygon learns it or something. And I remember being like, oh, this is such. When I was younger, I was like, oh, maybe it's like a really cool, like. Oh, wait a minute. Mm hmm. I might regret this. But let's see what happens. Because we have to face both these people. I don't have any potions either. I mean, I, I, hmm. okay, okay. Wow, great. <sighs> Nothing like getting sand attacked into oblivion. I mean, that that's. I'm not happy about it, but it's understandable, you know. Like, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed, you know. Okay, that's how the battle should have gone. All right. Oh, it's faster than me. Oh, it's going to be a bit of a pickle. This is actually the one trainer I think I was more worried about because if Sparrow... Oh, okay, yeah. I, I, thank God I already... Okay. Sparrow is... Just use like a... Okay, that's actually probably best case scenario because my, my defense is... I think Lear... I'm trying to think about, um, I think Lear and, I don't know. <laughs> okay. I mean, might as well just, like, try. But it knows Hyper Fang, Quick Attack. Um. It's funny how, like, with Missy No, it's, wow. You know what, I really should have not. I need more potions. But it's like, it's funny with Missino, I feel like, that, like, the these are random battles I would never expect to be, like, an issue. You know what I mean? Which would be kind of, see, there we go. It's weird how, like, that battle, if you look at it, if, like, you would just see that battle, you're like, oh, wow, Missino's killing it. It's like, eh, kind of, you know. Oh, actually, let's do this now. Um, let's get cut. Um, let's do this now. Alright, there we go. Wait, no. I almost tried to trade her missing now. You know what the missing now? Mm. I mean, I'd rather missing now than a sparrow. Just, you know, just my own my own personal opinion. Maybe unpopular. I don't, I don't know. No problem, dude. Alright, um, alright. 
Now, we can't learn Body Slam. If we could, dear God, we would be, like, stupidly overpowered if we could learn Body Slam. But I guess that makes sense. What's funny how, in my mind, I'm like, what well, makes sense? It's a glitchy Pokemon. What, you're going to, like, slam a glitch into something? But then it's like, no one made Missy Nose TM HM Learn Set. It just, like, happens. It's like the... I don't know if I'd call it, like, the game or, like... It's not even the, the like... The developers, it just uh, outspeeds. That's not what I want to see. Wow, this actually might be an issue. All of them outspeed. Hmm. Okay. That might... Okay, so for Pidgeotto, I'm hoping... Let's see what we get. Okay, that... Sand Attack Miss is perfect. That's really perfect. Home for, like, a Tail Whip? Oh, my God. Quick attack, I was going to be like, I'll take that. Oh my god, you son of a... I'm going to lose. <laughs> I was like, at first I'm like, are we going to do it? Actually, like the most... So yeah. Uh, hmm. Okay, again, perfect setup. I'll take that for now. Perfect. Oh. Dude, when Missy no hits, hits. Um. Okay. I don't really think there's anything on here that I really want, to be honest. I mean, I guess I could get rest, but I don't really think... I don't think rest would be actually good on Missy no, because that just makes it more vulnerable to, like, get attacked. Plus, I don't even know if I can learn it. I don't, I don't really care. Um... Let's do this. Let's do some, like, item management real quick. Do not want to teach that to me. Actually, Missing No would be actually... It wouldn't be good with Cut. Like, if I could learn Cut as, like, a regular move, I think I actually would probably teach it, but because I can't get rid of it, it's kind of annoying. Um, Dome Fossil. I don't need the Pokeballs anymore, right? Um, I don't need this. Or actually, I might get that for money, actually. Uh... Wait, what are these TM? Wait. Oh, yeah. I don't think I can... Yeah. Let's go to Pokemart. So we can get actually repels. I still can't believe that happened with the the Nugget. So we lost that battle. I never knew that was even like a like a glitch or a thing. Um, like 10. And then I definitely want to get... How many... Yeah. Uh, I do want to deposit HMO one as well. Just want enough to deal with it. Um, so we already taught it. All right. I don't. You know, I'm. I was thinking about maybe getting the bicycle eh, at this point. Now it's time for the worst part of the game. I don't know why. Like I don't know why this is like so. An. You know. On four times speed too. This is like super like twitchy because I'd hate to run into a train and be like, great not to face this electric dude. And electric Pokemon are typically, like, pretty fast. Okay. <gasps> First try. Oh, my God. What a legendary moment in time. Yes. Yes. Okay. I think Misty No can learn Thunderbolt as well. Which, again, it's special. Actually, it's probably the best case scenario. Okay. <sighs> Best case scenario as well. <laughs> Miss No taking the heat. Yeah, let's do it. Um, instead of an electric Pokemon, what if I teach it to Miss No? Oh, I can't learn it. Okay. okay. All right, I'll take that. Um. Oh no. All right, we're gonna get. Can't wait. I honestly, I cannot wait to just get to Cerulean City at this point. Um, I'm like, super excited. Just get past all this stuff. Uh, the good thing is, I think because now we're leveling up pretty fast, missing no speed is just such an issue because it's so bad when it comes to um, just getting hit. You know? Let's try the wrapping last. Okay, that's a good start. 
Not a good start. Fine. Fine. Okay. Okay, okay, I, I'll take that. So, I think we're, we're decent level now. Like before, as you saw, it just takes so long to level Missing No. Oh, shoot, I should have saved, actually. That's the thing with Missing No is like, I just, it's such like a, it's the definition of a glass cannon where I do not trust it all whatsoever in terms of being able to like get past a certain section or whatever. Nope, something's gone, going outside. Um, all right, let's see. Okay, so at least we're here now. About to be a rock tunnel. We got all the Pokemon we need. Let's do this. This is going to be interesting, though, because we have some unique trainers in here. I honestly don't know how Missing No is going to do. I believe in it, though. Okay. First trainer. Let's see what we do. Keybone should be easy, I'm hoping. Slow poke. Okay, because slow poke can be kind of bulky, I feel like. And I'm also going to do this. All right. Only one slow poke. I'm hoping this will be easy. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Boom. I'm also curious the order I want to do things. I actually might want to do Sylph Company like first out of anything. Because I feel like if I can get Earthquake and Sword Dance, I mean, it's going to be just crazy good. I actually don't remember where these trainers are too, which is not good. Um... Like, there's a guy here somewhere, and I just, I never know where he is. Ugh. Got me. Okay. We do a bubble beam. Yeah, there we go. Wow, one shot. Okay. Oh, no. There we go. I feel like missing another one. I'm going to check his stats. I feel like he's now getting at the point now where he's almost, I don't know where it is, but there's a point with missing now where he, like, Man, I, I think I shouldn't have not run into her. Okay. Get the Pidgey out of the way. It is kind of crazy seeing the, the, like, the sprites flipped. You know, it's kind of funny. You know, I'll take the experience. Never a bad idea. You know, I don't know how it was, we're going to do for the rest of the thing. So, um, okay. All right. Just Bubble Beam all the way. I think I would learn Bubble Beam, honestly. Because this, this battle, I would have probably, if I didn't have Bubble Beam... I mean, granted, I do get Water Gun, I guess. So, like, but if I didn't get Bubble Beam, I probably, I'm thinking, would have to use uh, Seismic Toss. Because I, I don't think I'd survive even a single Self Destruct. Or, or what is it? Doesn't it, like, cut your HP in half? So maybe I could survive one. I don't know. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Okay. I was like, are we going to lose to a Pidgey? Dude. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. I saw this meme, and this reminds me of this, where it's like, most Pokemon games are like, oh, you got out of the, the cave, congratulations. Gen 1's like, oh, you got out of the cave, here's a bunch of trainers who still try to, like, F your day up. <laughs> Just to, like, mess you up. Um, all right, we're so close now. So close. Uh, I'll just fight this guy. I think she, what, she has Clefairy. is annoying. Yeah, I'll just do this, dude. I think that's the last trainer we have to face, knock on wood, um, till we get the good stuff. There are some around here, though, but I don't want to talk to you. Nope. Doing some ninja moves. Yeah. All right. Are you guys ready for this? I'm also going to do the Poke uh, Poke all uh, skip, just because we are playing this in its entirety. So, yeah. Um... I think Missino can learn Mimic. You know, I'm going to get two. Because I think he can learn Mimic. I'm not going to buy any vitamins. I honestly don't think Missino needs any vitamins at all. And then I'm going to get fresh water to just give to the dude. Um, I think it's Lemony, right? <gasps> Here we go. Missino's best attack, which is so great. I think it's like, I mean, it's the only Pokemon that I would ever say that about. And we're just going to replace Mega Punch. It's basically the same power as Mega Punch, so it's 80 base power because we get Stab, because um, it's a normal move. It's a 120 power move, or base power move, excuse me, now. Or 120 power move. Uh, and 
it doesn't have any secondary effect, but it's 100% accurate. So we don't have to worry about any accuracy drops unless you get like the 1 in 256 glitch. Um, I am... Honestly, I don't really see any other move I'm going to use that's going to... Um, it just makes sense to increase for just that, actually, yeah. All right, now I'm about to run like crazy. Let's go. Because now I don't have to worry about any stupid like accuracy things or whatever, like unless we get like sand attacked. Okay. And boom. Just get this. You can get two quick PP ups here, so I might as well always do that. Get a little more experience too. All right. And. Okay. Oh, wow. I didn't even. <sighs> that was like the dumbest thing I've possibly done. I want to get fly. I can't, I can't. Wow, I'm a bit of an idiot. <laughs> Cause now I need to go all the way back cause I didn't get fly and I can't get ghosts. Well, I, I can with the special, but, but they have such high special. It's like not even worth it. Like this is gonna be way faster even though it's so obnoxious I have to do this cause I messed up. Uh, okay, so now we're gonna get fly. Our move set is almost um, complete. Actually, we're halfway there to like the move set that I was kind of envisioning. Because now we can do. Uh, um, I'm just gonna delete Sky Attack. Actually, just in case we need to use. I mean, I don't think we'll ever need to use Bubble Beam, but like at this point, you never know. Because once we get Earthquake, that's gonna be a lot easier. Okay. I got nothing. So what's up? I think I could just run. I don't think he has any. Does he have any rock Pokemon? I can't remember. I don't think so. Yeah, I'm just going to run with try attack. Boom. There we go. Sweet. Oh, no. Forgot the. Uh. uh Let's do that. I'm gonna save it. I'm also gonna throw on some repels here. All right. See how this goes. Should be fine though. I also do not get stabbed, which is kind of annoying, but you know, this is what it is. All right. Okay. See what he got. One ghastly. Oh, that's gonna be a bit of. Ooh. Okay. That's the thing with the missing. I forgot. If it gets confused, so you're when you get damage from your confusion, it deals back damage based off your own attack stat. So because the missing knows so good, it actually like <gasps> not again. Okay. Like, that's the funny thing. Because Mission is so good, it actually, like, will hurt itself aggressively bad. Um, oh, this should be fine. Okay. She got one more. Confuse Ray is actually the worst thing I want to see, ironically. And Mick Lick is the best because Lick doesn't affect uh, normal Pokemon. And I'm actually just going to give him that now. Because I'm like, when we get... I almost said when we get older. We ain't never getting older. Um, okay. By the way, I might get some hate for this. To me, that is a glitch. I'm sorry. I know the Pokemon community has decided, like, is that a glitch or an exploit? There's a lot of intense Pokemon people who have decided, nope, it is just an exploit. It is not a glitch. It is, it's allowed in glitchless runs. So I might as well do it, right, for these Pokemon solo runs, but I'm like... I'm going to be honest to me, it is 100% a glitch. No questions asked. So I still don't trust Missy Nova yet, though. I still don't feel like we're out of the... Like, I think it is going to be very smooth sailing from here on out now when it comes to just, like, battling trainers like this. It's going to be very convenient. But even so, I still don't trust Missy No 100%. I'm still, like, I don't know. We could miss, get outsped, get hit by, like, a tackle, and then lose right away, you know? I mean, like, you know... We're doing good, though. Okay. 
Oh, uh, yeah, shoot. I don't have the... Mm. I guess technically I allowed no... Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I have to do this, actually. Let's do this real quick. This actually won't be won't take too long. Because to go on the bicycle path, there is actually a cool little glitch that you can use on bicycle road or the bicycle path. Um, well, like in this case, I did want to do no glitches, even though I still think that's the funniest, like almost oxymoron on like Mewtwo or Mewtwo. I'm uh, missing a run. All right. Nope. Okay. Well, though, actually, you know, I actually think it's better to go, let's do Silph Company first, actually. Am I healed? Yeah, I was like, for a second, like, wait, did I, did I do the thing? I did the thing. Um, I'm trying to remember what floor it's on. Shoot. Oh, wait, no, I actually have to go to six first. Wait, no, 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 not six. Um, yeah. I always forget this sometimes. Um, I right, just beat this guy. Now we're gonna pretty much finalize the move set, which is gonna feel very nice. So it's gonna be sweet. Very, very nice. Very nice. Uh, okay. Mm, do I really need? What is this? No, it's probably something stupid. Okay. Uh, I feel like it is over here or not? I can't remember. Okay, I'll take that. Give him the HP up. Why not? Um, I don't remember actually where... Like, I know what it looks like, which is funny. I just don't remember what floor it's on when it comes to getting... Yeah. Oh, man. It's about to be wild. It's about to be crazy. The only thing that's kind of tricky about Swords Dance with Missy now, I'm going to be honest. Uh, let's go to this. Is... With the badge boost glitch, if you level up, you lose the badge boost. I mean, you still get, like, the attack stat boost. The problem with missing, though, is he levels up very easily. Um, no, not here for sure. Okay, fine. Whatever. Actually, I do want to go here so I can heal. That's actually... Oh, my God. Where did I last save it? After I got... Did I teach Missino? Man. Wait. Oh, okay, I did. For some reason, I thought I didn't teach. Okay. Do... Okay. Um... Nope. Let's go to nine. That way, in case we ever want to heal, we can. Okay. Did a lot of dang. Okay. Wow. This, okay. So, yeah, missing no speed's really like an issue for it. Um. Okay. Let's try this again. I'm just gonna save it. Come on, missing no. You got this. Okay, if we just get three, I mean, it's probably like the worst situation now. Nice, okay, okay, there we go. I actually didn't mean to do that, but okay. Um, where is... Oh, it's here, okay. Shoot, did I save it? I think so. I was saying that could do beastly damage. All right, here we go. This is actually pretty big, okay. I'm gonna give that to him now. Any rare, like, usually I do wait for rare candies, but like I've said, with Missy, you know, the way he just, like, levels up, it just makes way more sense just to be like, I'm just gonna just do it. Do it, do it. And we got a full, uh... Moveset, so just to show you, this is going to be, the, I, I can't, I'm not going to learn anything else. 
We got Tri Attack, Earthquake, Sword Dance, and Fly. Decent type coverage, honestly. And in addition, um, the Sword Dance can be crazy for our attack. We got some stab as well on the Tri Attack, so all good stuff. Now let's see how Rival 5 is going to go. I honestly don't know because he is a pretty big level jump, but we're leveling up fairly, uh, pretty fast. Um, like, I'm not really having any issue with any of these Pokemon, which is really nice. All right, let's see how it goes. Let's go. I think I might do... Oh my god, that's a horrible... Ooh, it did not one-shot. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Well, the reflect, that's why. Um, okay. What? I like... I don't think I've ever seen that, that I knocked myself out with confusion... But it still said, oh, the leech seed still, like, saps you, whatever. Um, all right, so this is going to be interesting, actually. I wonder if maybe I should start off with one sword stance, maybe? Just to be safe. And then... Oh, but I level up right after. Okay, so next time we'll do it right after... Um... Wow, okay. man. Oh, I was worried about that. Boom. So, yeah, well, it's time. We can do some Giovanni. I'm actually pretty excited about the way this run's going, I'm gonna be honest. Let's, him, let's do Surf. Hmm, thank you. Sweet. All right. I think, I mean, from here on out, being honest. I'm really hoping as long as our speed gets better. See, now we're starting to level up an aggressively, like, quick amount. I mean, it's pretty insane. I don't. I think Giovanni's gonna be fine. I don't really see it being an issue, but okay. Um, I think I'm just gonna run Earthquake, honestly. All right. So, wow. I did not expect that. Wow, the crit with rage. Okay. Good thing I saved, honestly. Good thing I was like, you know, I may as well save. Why not? That does still half? Wow, okay. So, wow, I'm... Uh... Hmm. Wow, I didn't... Did not expect to be stuck at G Okay, that's best case scenario. I'm thinking it's going to be two-hit anyway, so we might as well... Might okay, there we go. Might as well use Swords Dance. Um, try to actually... Oh! <laughs> Dang it. Wow, I did not expect to have, like, a little hiccup with Giovanni here. Um, man, okay, this is... Okay. Okay. Half health. Yes. Wow. So, look, we leveled up, what, twice in that fight? This is what's crazy about just, like, uh, dealing with a uh, missing now. I didn't really expect that to happen. Oh, I forgot about Erica. Oh, let's do Erica. Okay. You know what? Blessing in disguise, right? I feel like Erica's the one gym leader I think you always forget about because it's not like you need her to get past a certain point or to use like an HM, whatever. Um, I don't think she's going to be too hard either. At least I hope not. Um, although you never know, honestly, because Victory Bell is pretty good. I think, isn't on, like, Scott's thoughts ranking, at least at the time of this video, I think Victory Bell ranks number one for him on Pokemon Yellow. Is it Victory Bell, or is it... Did Gengar beat that? I think it's Victory Bell still. Um, actually, that's best-case scenario. Poison's best-case scenario. It can't be put to sleep. And then, was it, there we go. Sweet. 
See, now we're leveling up like all the time. Huge. 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 Uh, Go to the antidote. So now I feel like feeling good. Honestly, I'm feeling really good. I'm gonna be crushing it. All right, let's do. I feel like I wanna try Sabrina next. Although I'm gonna be honest, I the outspeeding is gonna be the only issue. I, I don't think we're gonna outspeed most of her Pokemon. In case you're curious too, I don't know the whole like thing or whatever when it comes to doing this. Um This is the one technique I learned when I was younger that you just kind of go up and down over and over in case you don't know what it is. And then eventually you'll get there, so. All right, let's see how we do. All right, so we don't outspeed. I don't think we're to outspeed anything. Okay, that was kind of expected. All right, we're gonna... Uh, okay. Um... So we're gonna level up after the Venomoth. So Swords Dance is not gonna cut it. Hmm. No, well, that's not good. Yeah, okay, so this is not gonna work. Um, I think we should face like Koga, Blaine, and then come back here. Um, I also wanna, you know, cause I don't wanna forget this. Sometimes I have before. I might go, let's go here. I want to... No, no, no. Oh, shoot. Um, I don't think I've ever actually flown to Pewter City. I just realized that. I don't think I've ever actually been like, oh, let me fly here. Unless I want to get like the old Amber or something. I think I said, oh. You never know when that's going to come in handy. You know, I am going to do this, I guess, to see if it helps. We're going to have to go here anyway. I'm going to buy some Carbos to increase the speed. I mean, it might not be a ton... Wait, is, it, is this the right floor? No. Nope. Mm. Uh, let's see if this helps a little bit. I don't know if it's already maxed out, though. Yep. Okay, sick. I mean, I feel like it might help a little bit, because that's the biggest issue, I think, with missing now, because he's so weak. Wait, do I still have damage on me? No, I don't. Like, that's going to be just an annoying thing to deal with. Okay, I'm going to save it because just in case. Do the poker flute. And then, it's like, rude. Got this. Mm hmm. Boop. I don't. I was literally about to say, I don't really feel like facing anybody. I just want to go, kind of go straight to Koga. All right, though, we'll do this, you know. Why not? Take the scenic route. Let him go. See, that's, I think the bicycle on four times speed is way too fast for me. Oh, I always forget. Why do they do that? Why do they block it off in an odd way? We can only go through this entrance. Like, come on. Oh, actually, Koga might be trickier than I think. Not Koga, but actually the trainers before him. Because they can be... Huh. All right, so I outspeed the first one. Now it's be the second. I mean, I am also like, wow. So the... Okay, so... The Kadabra still outspeeds me. I don't think we're... See, here's the problem. I actually don't think maybe we're going to outspeed Sabrina's Pokemon at all. Now that I think about it. There's like a fair chance. I mean, if I'm not outspeeding... Okay, that's fine. Hmm. Do we have any, like, things? Yeah. Alright, so I'm thinking best move right now because we just leveled up. I'm gonna do one sword dance. Oh, wow, stupid move. Great. Great. Okay. Okay, alright. And we just leveled up. Woo! <clears throat> it's close. I think my defense increases what to like zero to three or whatever, because <laughs> my defense is so bad. Eh, enough. Mm. Okay, next to Safari Zone. Do we have enough repels though? That's the bigger. That's the biggest question. Six. I think six should be fine. I'm gonna see if I can do 
Safari Zone. Um, I don't feel like using Cut, to be honest. So I'll just go this way. I'm going to see if we can do Safari Zone with the bicycle. Let's see if we can do it. Okay. Don't they give you more steps, I think, in future games? It is funny how, like, I feel like this, like, where to go, though, is, like, burned into my memory. Okay, why can I not find... Okay. I was like... Oh! <laughs> Shoot, well, this is actually, like, throwing me off in terms of, like... That was fast. Nope. No, we're gonna, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna do it on challenge mode. There's no way... This is so much harder than I thought it was actually gonna be. I hope I don't like lose this beca because, uh, wait, what? Because um, I like hit too many weird things or. <laughs> wait, am I still on the bicycle? Okay. Okay, there we go. Whew. All right, Siege, HMO3. There we go. Use escape rope. There was one time I was playing like a Charizard only run, and I don't know how. I forgot to have escape rope in Pokemon Mansion, and I forgot to have repels. So I literally had to go through Pokemon Mansion after I got a secret key in the complete reverse order, which I've never done before. And had to do without repels. It was the worst thing ever. It added so much time. Like, I should have been able to do the Charizard only run in under three hours. And I think I was like three hours and like three minutes. Because, oh, okay. Just toss. I'm going to give that to him right now. I mean, at this point, I don't really. I could use it for like. Wow, why do you get 50? Okay, there we go. I'll take that. Um. Do we have enough? Oh, I might not have enough repels, to be honest. Oh, just enough for that. Yeah, I know. Um, uh, like 10. Oh. Oh, shoot. I, oh, no. I don't have enough. This is like the same. Okay, wait, wait. Okay. I'm gonna sell, let me keep that. Sell this, I'm like scrounging for money now. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get Mimic, honestly. Let's just sell this, whatever. Uh, let's sell the Awakening, nope. Let's sell this guy, it's accuracy. Okay, we have money now. Gotta keep the escape ropes for sure. I'm not having that mistake happen again. Um, I don't remember where I can buy right now. Okay. Let's do nine. Okay, there we go. Actually, that's not bad. Uh, let's just do here to do a nice real reset point. Blaine, I honestly don't think it's going to be hard at all. He's pretty easy in Pokemon Red and Blue. And Pokemon Yellow is definitely a lot harder for sure. But this one is pretty, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really liking the four times speed, and this is the Carbos, which is actually perfect. I don't know if I can even use it now, but okay. I'll take, at this point, anything I can get. By the way, I was thinking, is this the only spinner in the game? I've always wondered that. Like, I don't know. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. Now we can give him rare candy right now. Okay. Surprised how quick this run's going, I feel like, too. Um, uh, okay. Okay, let's just... I almost just escaped rope, and I was like, oh my god, I... <laughs> we're just gonna mess that up. Okay. Back here. Let's do it. Now, I'm going to do the questions, but I never remember what the right answer... Okay. See, 
how to be involved into Butterfree. It's yes, right? Or is it no? It's a trick question. I'm thinking yes. Okay. See, that to me would... Wait. Oh, I can... Wow, I didn't know I could actually... That's a huge... Because that's such like a BS thing. You know what I mean? Like... Well, it's twice. I know that first question. I still think is because I can remember if they if it's like no, it doesn't involve into Butterfree because technically involves into Metapod, but yes, like it eventually does. No, they're not. Yes, I didn't. Some of these I have to like think about for a second. The way they like and this the Tombstoner one that actually does sound like a pretty like pretty bomb move though. All right, let's just, this is going to be super easy. Just Earthquake the whole way. Okay. I mean, these are... Oh, wow, it outspeeds. Okay. The Super Potion right in the beginning of the battle. Classic. Cla <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, Can I escape out of here with this or no? Sweet, okay. Now we have to face Sabrina. I don't really have a choice. Um, I feel like... Oh, I forgot that was still on. I feel like it should be fine. I mean, at this point, our special's a little better. Like, I mean, it's not that good, but at least we have a... Because that's what I was thinking with Blaine. We do get the special boost, so that will help at least... Because special in Gen 1 is both attack and defense. So it's like a dual... Uh, thing. That's why special Pokemon, I think, in Gen 1 are just so overpowered. Especially Psychic Pokemon. Uh, let's see what happens. I think. Now, do we outspeed the Kadabra now? We do not. But we can take... Okay. Oh! Okay, that was lucky. I'll take it, though. There we go. Yeah, side wave is such a dumb move. Um, okay. Last gym leader being the entire game with only missing now. About to get the eighth gym badge. I think Giovanni is going to be super easy. Um, I'm curious to see what the Elite Four is going to be like, though. Honestly, I don't know. I can see we're starting to level up an aggressive amount. Um, so... I mean, it's almost like every battle we're, like, leveling up. But we're still pretty, like, low. I mean, what are we going to be at? Like, say, like, 56, 57 maybe when we face the Elite Four. You know? Eh. Maybe 58 or 59. So we'll be close to 60. But still not, like, the best situation. Um, I don't know. All right. Let's see what you got. I think I'm just gonna earthquake all the way. <gasps> Ooh, wow! I gen. Wow, I actually thought that Giovanni would be actually. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. A car. I'm gonna set up with Sword Dance and see if that helps with my speed. We still don't not we don't also be the drug drill though. Now we also be the Nidoqueen. Queen. We level up. Oh wow, this might be a bit of a sticking point. I genuinely did not expect this to be an issue. Okay, so I'm gonna do Swords Dance again. Ah. <sighs> That's one of those situations I wish I was a flying type. The, that would be a lot easier. Unless I go for fly. Unless I go for fly right away. That's actually, you know what? Let's do this. So we're going to do Swords Dance again. Earthquake. Fly. Nice. Okay, that was actually probably the best case scenario. Oh, no. Okay. Well, that's fine. We're going to level up. 
Wow. Not even a crit either? So we're gonna have to get kind of lucky here. So I'm thinking... You know what? I'm gonna try- I'm gonna do, try this. Let's do... Two swords dances. Um, do we out to be the- The Doug Drew after two? No. Hmm. But then we level up. Wow, okay. So it seems like- Let me try- th I'm just gonna- I'm just curious. If we do three swords dances, I wonder if we- well, outspeed the Doug Drio. In case you don't know, when you do the badge boost glitch, so anytime your stats are modified, it adds 12.5% onto every stat. So when I do this, not only is my attack increasing, but all my other attack, uh, all my other stats are increasing by 12.5%. But here's a risky thing. Okay, so now I'm fully set up, but then, yeah. I don't really need the plus six attack, too. Missing those attack is so good. You know, I think I'm better off doing one sword dance to outspeed the Nidoqueen. Queen. I think makes the most sense. And then Earthquake and then Fly makes the most logical sense. Because that way if Doug Geo goes for Dig, we're all set. Oh, is it just be tie then? Interesting. Okay, and then please just outspeed. Oh, there we go. Okay, nice. All right. Oh, this is kind of cool, by the way. I always thought this was interesting. Um, so, oh, let me... Let me just toss something so I can show you. It's kind of cool. Um, I'm going to keep those. Okay. So, I don't know why I thought this was interesting. So, if I go back and talk to him, look what happens. He disappears. Is, uh, that, I don't know why I always thought that was really interesting as when I was younger. Because one time I was hitting A too fast... Another cool thing, I don't know why that's kind of cool. If I press A, you can see this, Leader Giovanni, Winning Trainers Gary, Glitch. Which makes me wonder, like, are we the only two people in, like, the Pokemon, like, universe who are actually facing these gym leaders? Like, I don't know. I don't know. All right, uh, it's time. All right. Final rival battle before the league. I'm surprised how... Okay, so let's see... I want to do this. Okay, so one shot with that. I don't think Ryan can do a lot, honestly. Famous last words. Set up one. Okay, so we... I'm going to go for it again, actually. I'm going to go for two so we can... Okay, that actually helps because now I should outspeed everything using the badge boost glitch. I do not outspeed Alakazam, though, but I still hit... Um... I mean, my attack is so high at that point. Okay, sweet. That's like, with Swords Dance combined with Mission Nose's attack, it's just like, it's, it's honestly, it's like unfair. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. But I'm very curious to see how the league's gonna go, though. Um, Alright. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna have to do all these, like, rock things. Um,. I remember when I was younger, I kept coming back to this part, being like, when am I able going to be able to, like, get to, like, the last part of the game, and then... Okay, I'm actually going to save it, just because I feel like I'm going to screw this up somehow. <laughs> um, you know what I hate, too, in case you don't know? If, let's say, I were to do this whole puzzle, and I were to leave by accident, I have to redo the whole thing. Okay, where is she? Okay. 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 Nice. Don't want to face you. Wait. Where do I go again? I think here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I was just blank down on that. Okay. Okay. Let me do a thing about the Elite Four, though. Oh. I think... I don't know. I feel like... Agatha might be really difficult. Um, I don't know, though. Honestly, I'm kind of... The biggest thing, honestly, when it comes to missing, though, is really just its speed, which we can affect by the badge boost glitch, but... Um, 
It's also going to be timing leveling up. Because the thing with Missing Note, which is bittersweet, it levels up so fast. So it's kind of good. Um, isn't there something here? Oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I definitely want to buy a bunch of these, actually. Um, that's fine. Why do they have this, like, random puzzle near the end? Just, like, just to get you mad. I think that's all we need, actually, yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to deposit... Oh. These Pokemon. Alright, so it, it is time. Missy No, at level 60, has completed all... Of the gym badges, but now it's time for the Elite Four, the true final test. For missing now. <sighs> Alright. Dugong, so I am. Let's see. Okay, that's actually what I was hoping for. One, two, three. Now let's just go. Cloyster has good defense. <gasps> but it's still at speeds. Oh, that's interesting. I level up. That's not good. Ooh, okay. So this is going to be actually a little tricky. Hmm. Okay. So I'm thinking maybe... Wow, okay. All right, so... <sighs> How the tables have turned. So I may, being honest... I might do that thing where I just face her over and over again until I win and gain experience. Because for the Elite Four, it's like, I'm not face trainers anyway if I have to level up. So I feel like it's a little different. Here's what I'm hoping for. She uses... That's actually not what I want. Wow. Hmm. Ugh. Okay. So I think what I'm gonna have to do. Wow, that growl really got to me. Okay. What I'm gonna have to do is. I'm hoping Dugong uses rest. Right. And then I'm gonna beat her. I level up. I wanna be able to take out Cloyster. Oh my god, wow. Alright. I think I'm gonna have to do that. I'm, I'm gonna have to. I'm now going to take some of the experience points. If like, say it gets to the point, I'm like, all right, there's no way I'm going to... I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to use one just to be able to take out the cloister, I think. Wow. Okay, I'm going I'm to have to take that. This is actually a bit of a pickle now. Did not expect Lorelai to have this... I mean, I got to drink once... So I think what has to happen is, see, it, it's always going to use rest next. So I can do swords dance to preemptively set up, just to take out the cloister. Oh, but I already leveled up. Okay, so I'm going to do. Try attack, um, swords dance, swords dance. Sword Zance. I'm gonna out. Oh, I level up. Wow. What's funny about missing though is it's actually now tricky because it levels up so much, it makes it harder to use the badge boost glitch. Like, that's actually an issue now because it levels up so easily. I'm not able to take advantage of that. Hmm. Okay, this time I think. Okay, now you get. Now I'm gonna do. Okay. Wait, it didn't use rest. I I thought it always uses rest. Wow. Okay. This glitchy boys getting glitchy. <sighs> okay. I'm very much so confused. Okay. Out with that. Okay, level up. I'm now going to do Swords Dance anyway to see if we can... Yes. Alright, now I should... I'm um, hope... Oh, it's still out speeds. Please don't level up. Oh, let's go. Okay. Now, okay, let's go. There we go. 
Like, that, that's the interesting thing about missing, though, is be, it, like, levels up so much, which is kind of nice. But then you're like, oh, shoot. Like, I have to be kind of careful. Bruno, I think, should be Bruno. You know, I don't... We'll see. Um, could anything outspeed me, though? Maybe. Wow. Okay. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Okay, so Bruno is not going to be a walk in the park. I think I'm just going to use Swords Dance, boost my speed. Um, okay. And then... Wow. So Bruno's not... I'll try a few more times, but like I may have to just take the L and then go back to Lorelei. Um, oh, shoot. I actually did not mean to do that. I can always just do this, I guess. Okay, so that allows me to outspeed the Hitmon. Oh, no. Oh, okay. But then I level up. I feel like I'm gonna have, it's going to be... Okay. Okay. I was a little bit worried about that. Okay. Now, Agatha is going to be a nightmare. Like, straight up. Um, although, if she uses bad moves... Okay. That's like the... Oh, it's like the best thing... You, Wow, I'm getting really good luck there. It's actually not good, but whatever, I'll take that. Ooh. Wow, I did not expect the Agatha battle to go that well. Fun little fact, and I don't know why, I've never seen this anywhere. So you see these two berries right here? In Pokemon Red and Blue, they appear automatically. In Pokemon Yellow, if you try to leave, that's when they appear. Oh, so that's kind of cool. Um, wait, how am I doing on PowerPoints? Nope. Yeah, let's just use a uh, Elixir. Um, all right. I'm trying to think of. How's this gonna go? Okay, Dragon Rage is good. It's not a one hit though. Hyper Beam is automatically gonna take me out. There's no question there. Cause he has Hydro Pump, Dragon Rage, Hyper Beam. Yeah, that's gonna be okay. Wow. Unique challenges at each one. I don't think. I don't know if Lance is gonna be actually possible. Unless it, like, does Hyper Beam... Unless it goes for... I don't think it's going to go for Hydro Pump. It, it, Lance has good AI, so it seems like it's going to avoid Hydro Pump. So... Okay, I, mean, I was wrong. Wow, okay. one shot by the Garrett. We may have to... I thought Lorelai was going to be the bigger issue. I think Lance is now. Okay. Okay, that's actually best case scenario... We're going to have to outspeed stuff. <sighs> All right, you know what I mean? I'm just going to have to take the L. I hate to say it. All right, let's try again at what level we are. 69. Nice. And a very nice level. Let's try this again. All right. Um, so we still don't outspeed the Dugong. We almost one shot. We're not. We are going to take out that. I'm afraid it's gonna level up. It does. Jinx is gonna take me out. I'm just gonna take the experience. Wow, okay. See, this is where it gets interesting because Missino no levels up so much, I can just keep doing this. But if, because at some point I'm just gonna be so powerful, that's gonna be like whatever. But I do at least wanna use some strategy here. So I'm now one shotting the Dugong. Cloyster has the best defense in the game, so that makes sense. I level up now. So I'm gonna do one. Two, 
I'm gonna go for three. Now I should outspeed the Jinx. Um, lap. Oh, I still outspeed the Lapras though. Okay. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Um, see if we can do it now on this this time. Is that Gyarados is powerful, man. Um, all right, so. Do we out we outspeed the Hitmonchan now? I don't know if we outspeed the Hitmon Lee. Outspeed the second Onyx. Alright, perfect. So we're outspeeding every one of the Pokemon now. That's good. You can see how much missing those like um leveling up now. Agatha, though, I think is still gonna outspeed me. It's gonna be require like a good amount of luck. I think J Rose 11 calls her the Agatha Lottery, cause so still outsped. But Gengar can't really do, besides putting me to sleep. Oh, no, I guess Gene Meter, now I think about it. Um, Golbat. <sighs> well played, sir. Well played. Okay. Nice. Okay. And then Nightshade is ideal. Yep. I was hoping I was just going to do Nightshade, and then there we go. All right. You can see, so I started the Elite Four at level 69. Nice. Now I'm at level 76 already. That's how crazy Missing Nose, like, growth rate is. But like I said, when it comes... If I want to use, like, the badge boost glitch, it's actually worse. Like, if anything, I think it'd be better if it didn't level up so much. Um... Okay, so I'm thinking now... Oh, I didn't update my PowerPoints. Alright, I'm one-hitting the Gyarados. I don't think I'm going to outspeed the Aerodactyl. That's the only issue. I feel like I almost have to go for it now. No, okay. Alright. Um. So Gyarados is still outspeeding me. Um. I think my best case scenario is he goes for Leer. I go for Swords Dance. I still outspeed. All right, so after one Swords Dance, I am outspeeding. Outspeeding the Dragonair. Outspeeding the second Dragonair. Level up. This is going to outspeed me no matter what. Um, for Try Attack. Oh, man. Let me see. All right, so this may be possible. Like I said, I could just redo the League and like... But I'm thinking what makes the most sense is... I have to get, I think, one Sword Dance in. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, wow. So, I still don't outspeed the Gyarados. So, it must have been a speed tie. So, after one Sword Dance, I'm actually tied with the Gyarados. Uh, that's not... I may have to redo this then. I may have to go back to the league again. Okay. Uh, next, I'll get this. Okay. Man. Because I, I know I'm going to level up. Hmm. Okay. You know what it was? It was the Leer that allowed me to outspeed it. That's what happened. But the problem is, I'm going to level up no matter what after these two Dragonairs. So I'm just going to have to hope to get lucky, really. Oh, I got a crit. You know what? I'm going to have to take it. I, I don't think it's going to happen. I mean, I'm going to need absurd luck. Like, there's a point where I'm like, I'm going to need two... Much luck. Okay. Maybe this is the one. This is the best. Third time's a charm, right? Going through the ladder, right? All right. Dugong should be one shot. Cloyster should be... No, it's not a one shot. But I level up. Sword Zans. Sword Zans. Like, let's, just, let's just go all out. Why not? Um. Oh, shoot. Uh, hit A too fast. Take him out. Take out Jinx. Take a Lapras. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Okay. Um, do you have some full stores, correct? Because I just realized I've been using all the hyper potions. I think Bruno's now going to be super easy. Um, it's going to have to be Earthquake here. I could probably use Earthquake on them, but whatever. 
So hip only still outspeeds. That's actually really interesting. Even level 80 or almost 80 now. Um, okay. Alright, um, so I'm moving through these faster now, which is nice. Okay. Because you think, the, like like I said, with Missy No, usually the higher you level up, the harder it is to level up. Not in this case. Oh, my God. Can I do it, though? Can I do it? I don't know. It's still, so Golbat still outspeeds me. Wow. That's, yeah, that's game. Okay. So Agatha's not guaranteed, I think because like I still I'm not still out speeding. And it's funny that the, the best like power play move she can do is using confusion tactics, like by far. <sighs> Dang it. Alright, you know, I think I'd oh, man. Wow. This is really frustrating. Okay. What I want to see is like nightshade or like a hypnosis miss. Hypnosis miss is ideal by far. Um Yes, okay, that's what I want to see. Oh my god. Wow, I I'm definitely I'm definitely not gonna like reset and take the experience here. Like I at least want to go through to at least Lance and try to tempt him, but I wow, this is it is crazy when you play the Elite Four this many times. You think um uh, Wow, I'm just getting mauled. Okay, at least one down. Wow, that's what's crazy, you know, about Pokemon is like the fat the first two times weren't even that bad, and then this time it's like, I mean, I'm thinking like, should I use a different move? Maybe should I maybe go for? I'm gonna level up anyway, so Earthquake or Sword Dance really wouldn't do anything. All right, that's best case scenario. I level up. I am gonna go for Sword Dance anyway. I mean, that means if I hit myself in confusion, I'm gonna be done anyway. Yes, okay. Hopefully, now I outspeed all the rest of them because of the Swords Dance. I do level up, though. Just get good luck. That's the luck I need. All right. Okay. See how it goes now against the Gyarados. Even though it's been getting a little better, I think. All right. I'm thinking... I think we gotta go for Swords Dance. Okay, so Fly takes him out because I want to save some of. Oh, okay, this actually be big. Oh, you survived. That's what I need. That's exactly what I need. Okay, try attack, try attack. Don't level up. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Thought that was gonna be it. Okay, so this is actually the perfect scenario because we level up after the Gyarados. So we use Swords Dance then on the next Dragonair, which is ideal. Okay, that's actually, again, perfect timing. Okay. We have to use Swords Dance. We did not speed the, the Dragonair, though. I'm going to have to go for it again. Oh. Okay, that, okay, this is huge. This is like the best scenario we've had yet. Please outspeed. We still don't. Okay. So even after a couple badge, badge boosts. So that... Wow. So the issue now really is... Hmm. So in this case, I wonder if I'm better off just going straight for tri-attack. And then... Just for speed's sake. I mean, I'm going to one-shot all these anyway. Oh, but I didn't... Oh, that's right. I don't have really, like, a, a good effective move. Oh, man. I'm going to have to use... Let's go, Missing Now. That's what I want to see. All right, this is the time. Third time's a charm, right? So we're gonna do still on the elixirs. Save it here. I think it's. I think it's time. I think. I think we're good. Okay, I'm thinking because Alakazam is gonna be second. Gotta use Sword Dance here. It missed. Oh wow! Also, animations get turned on by the way for the last battle. 
I level up. That didn't do... I thought it was going to do a lot more damage. Um, I am going to just do this anyway. Let's get greedy. Let's, let's go all in. Boom. Boom. We level up. Oh, yeah. We got fly. I forgot about that. Nice. Because bulky Pokemon. Um, You know what? Let's go for the tri-attack. Oh, there it is. Level 87. I guess technically 86. There we go. I'd say a decent run overall. I think, honestly, I think the biggest issue for me, I think the strategy was pretty decent, I think overall, but I think the biggest issue for me was actually playing on four times speed. More just moving around, not even selecting like the wrong move, although it happened, you know, a few times at least. But I think the bigger thing is just moving around. It adds up super, super fast. And in addition, I will say, that's why I'm not using kind of in-game time for this video just because there were a couple times where i wasn't playing and i was just talking or there was a couple times i ran to the bathroom real quick and left the game on and forgot oh yeah i didn't pause the game it's still like going definitely a very interesting run because overall one the fact that the sprite kept changing every time i thought it was super cool actually like i love the fact that every time you had no idea what to expect the second thing was just i think overall what made this run so unique i think compared to any other pokemon run ignoring the sprite or anything was the experience the fact that for most pokemon there's different experience curves and level up curves of how fast a pokemon levels up and there's like you know medium fast medium slow slow and fast in terms of gen one and missing those is just it's missing now it's glitched right so in the beginning as you remember took super long just to level up a couple levels, which is, I do regret not just catching a level six uh, missing no in Viridian Forest. I wasn't sure the level or the highest level in Viridian Forest. But then once, you, once we got past a certain point, it was almost every battle I was leveling up once or twice at least, which like I was saying was actually messing up my like badge boost glitch when it comes to using Sword Dance. And missing those attacks was just so absurd, but it was kind of like a fun Pokemon to use. I can't think of any other Pokemon that would be like this of more of a glass cannon than missing that. The fact that you have 136 attack, the highest attack of any Pokemon in Gen 1, and then literally zero defense on the other end, the weakest defense of any Pokemon in Gen 1 by far. I went into this run being super excited, being like, okay, missing no is my favorite Pokemon. I guess you could argue if it's a Pokemon or not. Wasn't sure what the glitchiness would be like. There was glitches galore, weird sprites, weird experience curves, an odd moveset that somehow kind of worked. <sighs> what a glitchy run.